Okay, so in this video we're going to learn how to take a horizontal list of words and make them vertical for we can then alphabetize them because Word only lets you alphabetize vertical list. This is actually very simple. Uh, so the first thing we do is we're going to make this into a vertical list by going to Home, Editing, and Replace. Now since I have a comma space separating my words, for find what I need to type comma space. Now I want to replace this with a special and so just in case you don't have that there click more and then go to special and this will also work on on other and put a paragraph mark on oops I put in the wrong space darn it on older versions first highlight here and paragraph mark so here we got space comma here we got our paragraph mark then replace all and bam we got a vertical list Okay, so next thing we need to do, and if you don't have uh, Word 2007, you're using like an older thing of Word, uh, you should know where to find, um, I think it's under Tools or Edit. No, yeah, it's under Edit, Replace All, I think. Anyway, so if under Edit, Find, and Replace All. But here it's under the Home Editing. Okay, so now we got to highlight our words here. And notice that two of the words here are only separated by a space. And so this is going to pumps off and pump hard, and they're not in alphabetic order, but it will put them in alphabetic order. So select them all, go to home. Under the paragraph, you have this tab here, where there's a button for sort. Now I'm going to go to options. Make sure you have no header row because we don't have a header row. Header row would be like if you wanted your not to be alphabetized. It was just the header for these words underneath it, but no header row. And under other, I just have a space here because that's what's separating these words. And I'm going to have ascending, and then click OK. Bam, notice even the hard and soft now is alph alphabetized under the sub pump. OK, um, and the reason why these words are kind of funny is I'm working on a topical, thes a topical thesaurus, uh, and these are some mood words for erotica. I have a whole bunch of them, but I wanted to keep it short for this demonstration. And I have romantic words, love words, action words, you know, all these different kind of mood words, and then things you're doing words. Anyway, it's it would be a pretty cool um, thing. I'm, I, I started doing it for myself, but other people liked it, so I decided, hey, might as well do it for other people. Now, how do I get it back? Well, very simple. Go to Home, Editing, and Replace All, and we're just going to reverse this process. So in the top, we're going to have paragraph mark. That, that is, we're going to remove the paragraph marks, and we're going to turn it to whatever I want. Let's say I want it comma space again then replace all now you see it does some weird things here sometimes no big deal just erase them really quick okay now but let's say I I didn't want um, the comma space let's say I wanted a double space which is how I have it set up and what I'm working on so what I'll do is I'll do the comma space and I'll replace that down here with space space make sure you type space space and replace all Boom, there we go and then I can do the double space for find what and I can replace it with space hyphen space you know anything you can pretty much imagine and I don't like that I'm gonna turn it back so space hyphen space and back with space space and there we go and this can be used for all sorts of things let's say you have and anyway, that, that's it. So now you know how to alphabetize. But really quick, I want to show you one other thing you can do with your project, which is cool. And I have this on another video, but um, I'm going to open a project really quick. Go to my novels. Um, I'll go to my sci-fi novel. I'll also go to chapter one. And so let's say I have this here, and I don't have it set up right now as a manuscript. Um, or I have it set up for Postgre Online. And so you notice I have these spaces between my paragraphs. Let's say I didn't want that. Let's say I wanted it, you know, get ready for a manuscript and you can't have spaces like that. So what I'll do is in the top here, I'll have paragraph mark, paragraph mark. So that's, that's how you have the space between paragraphs. And I just want to change that to single paragraph mark. And then I can replace all. And uh, then I want to go to... Well, I don't want to mess with this up here, but oh well, I can change it back. I go to edit and select all. And then move this slider up here. 
that way I have automatic tabs and I would change this top back in just a moment and there you have it and then of course if I wanted this to be uh, for manuscript I would do a few more things like I would go to select all again and then I would change the font to courier and um, then I would go to you know the paragraph and double space or actually in this case I would go to exactly I'd go to 24, 25, depending on what I want, uh, how many how many lines per page I want, and usually 27 for me because I tend to write a lot of dialogue, so um, that will give me the proper amount of lines. And see, so it go back to 100%. Anyway, so that'll give me 27 lines per page. Let me make sure. And then 25, if you set the exact 25, it should give you 25 lines per page. Let me make sure I got the lines. Yeah, 27 lines per page. So if I would have set the exactly to um, 25, then it would have given me 25 lines per page. Okay, so there I have it. And, and it depends on how you write. Like, for example, if, I, if I'm writing a lot of dialogue like I usually do in my typical style, then my average word count would be about 230, so I need to bump it up to 27 lines per page. And if I'm going to be working on... Uh, uh, one that has more narrative like this page here then I'm gonna uh, put it down to 25 lines per page that, that anyway the, the point is I want to get about an average of 250 words per page um, that way you know the editors know about how many pages are, are going to be taken up in the print version they care more about that than they do words word count okay so uh, there you go uh, use replace all for all sorts of things it really comes in handy